Hi, this is Ryan Halleen from Seaport Spine. Today's video is people who are waking up with neck, shoulder, pain, stiffness, tightness. If someone is, uh, is having these symptoms and they're worse first thing in the morning, this definitely warrants an investigation to the sleeping situation, particularly the sleeping position. We'll start with just, just discussing a neutral spine. You're gonna wanna keep your head and neck in a neutral position while you're sleeping. So how your spine is when, when standing from the side view, is, is very similar to a neutral spine. You have the nice inward curve in the neck, out, outward curve in the mid back, a nice inward curve in the low back. And you're gonna to wanna to keep that maintained, that head and neck position neutral throughout your throughout sleep if possible. If you're on your back, if the pillows are too thick, your head's gonna be flexed forward out of the, deviating out of the neutral position. If you, and if you have pillows that are too thin, your neck is gonna be overextended. Again, just gonna add stress to the cervical spine. So a pillow that's just thick enough to keep the, the head and neck in this kind of more neutral position here. When you're on your side, you're gonna to wanna to be in line from the front, so if the pillows are too thick, again, your head's gonna be tilted like this. If the pillows are too thin, your head's gonna be tilted like, like this. So from the side, for side sleepers, not only in line from the side, but also in line from this angle as well. So if you can, Try to before you sleep. If you have a little bit of a forward head posture, get the ears back over the shoulders. Maybe maybe harder than, than maybe easier said than done, but something maybe to think about right before as you're starting to fall asleep. Try to just get that the ear back over the shoulder to be more in line from this from this angle as well. Stomach sleepers have it a bit tough. If if you're having trouble rotating your head left to right and you're also a stomach sleeper, well you're your head and neck is going to be in that twisted position while you're sleeping and that's just going to add fuel to the fire one possible solution besides trying to sleep on your side or on your back if you have a neck pain would be to put a pillow the long way under the chest and on the trunk that's just going to lift the head and neck up a little bit that way you're not as twisted while you're sleeping lastly we'll just talk about what, would, what did I want to talk about last? Oh, the shoulder, the shoulder position, sorry. So, shoulder, if you're having shoulder tightness, definitely want to look into this as well. So, maybe a, a thick pillow or a pillow folded over in half to, to kind of hug to keep the shoulders a bit more square. They don't have to be perfectly stacked and squared like this. You can have, roll the shoulder out from underneath you a little bit, but you just don't want to be, be collapsed in this position. Commonly, I might see that people say they're having increased neck and shoulder tightness when they or symptoms when they're working, and they say, I'm, I'm hunched over my computer like this, and it's also bothering them in the morning. Well, if you're in this position over the computer during the day, and then you're replicating that position again when you're sleeping at night like this, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's not gonna give the time, the spine time to rest and to, and to heal up. So if you can get eight hours of sleep, with your head and neck in a neutral position, it's going to go a long way for helping the body heal itself. Thank you.